Uh, most of my work is really influenced from, from materials in the city and the sort of visual noise, the stuff that we encounter every day. So I make sculptures um, from building site hoardings that I go and take the wood and swap it for new wood. Also, yeah, lots of other materials from, from the sort of urban environment, such as scaffold netting. So I started collecting different bits of netting from various building sites all, all over the city and then stretching it over canvas and allowing the sort of rips and burns and, and tears that were in the material be the sort of painterly gestures. It's all this sort of everyday visual language. But I loved the residency as well because I didn't feel any pressure to make the work there and then. That it was very, it was, you know, more sort of research and reading and just being able to explore. Yeah, it gave me a good chance to be out of the studio and away from my normal sort of everyday routine of, of working here and to be in a yeah, country I've never been to before and to have a chance to sort of reflect on my work. We travel quite a few different places, so based in Limassol at the residence and my favourite place was to go to Nicosia, which I found really interesting, to see all these sort of empty buildings and the sort of all the different barriers and uh, cordons that the, the armies had, the, the Greek and the Turkish army. And it really informed the work I made because I'm, I'm really into sort of uh, divisions within public space. So I didn't take sort of any materials or plan to make work there. I wanted to make documentation and more research and then make the work when I got back to the studio here in London. So uh, yeah, it was mainly based on photography and then mixed with uh, you know, painting. The photography, I use an image transfer technique to transfer the image that I take onto the canvas. But most of the photographs I took were of um, through the dividing sort of areas because you could walk down certain streets and you'd be met by like a sort of rudimentary border of like painted oil barrels that would have the separate flag on one side and Turkish flag and barbed wire and it'd just be like where a normal street had been completely blocked off. The people who I talked to there in Cyprus, like I, I met Maria from Art Scene, she put me in touch with a lady from the bookshop telling me about Verusha that really sort of captured my imagination of this whole sort of ghost city, about people actually living in there when it's a controlled zone of no one's meant to be in there. I like that idea of that it's like a modern city that's in ruins.